guys, this is uh, Benja DC5 coming out with you with my review of the 16 scale E Revo. I started out with actually a 16 scale Ken Block Gymkhana car. I uh, found that running it where I live wasn't really beneficial because you know the street is only so wide and I got a heavy foot with it so I, take and, uh, I found myself crashing it a lot, flipping it. So I decided to upgrade to the E Revo. You know, all I really required was the new Evo body. This one I picked up, it was a clear body. I painted it black, you know, put some basic stickers on it, you know, something that I can bash on, not to worry about it. I upgraded to the E Revo, you know, A arms, front and back, top and bottom, the uh, toe links and the steering links, the front and back bumpers with the wing, and all you need from there is to remove the limiters from your shocks and add on you know the springs that you need these ones are black springs front and back so they're gonna have a little more tension to be able to hold it up I took an upgraded also I fried the original Valenion system sent it back to Traxxas they're replacing it for me sending it back but I upgraded to the uh, Castle Creation Sidewinder SV2 system along with the 5700 motor it's a lot better of a motor you know it's not gonna heat up running lipo batteries like it normally would. I took and I also got the uh, the 10 bull kit for the big block mounting system. All you really have to do from there is, I mean, I haven't done this yet, but if I run a, run a smaller pinion, I have to get the smaller receiver box. Haven't done it yet because I haven't had time to find it online, order the parts and everything. Um, I upgraded to the dual servos, so, you know, before, you have a lot of tension on the wheels, you know, if you, especially if you go off road a lot, you'll be stripping out the plastic gears, you know, 20 bucks, buy another servo, get the little kit to hook it all up with the horns and everything. Great upgrade for this thing, dual servos. The receiver already has two channel one slots, you don't have to do any Y connectors, just plug it in, it's ready to go. Um, normally they say, you know, black and tan springs front and back, I mean, I went with the black ones to give me a little more tension on it. Even then, the limiters are maxed out. I need to upgrade to the GTR shocks because as of now, I mean, you pull it down and it's not coming all the way back up. Um, you know, it's pretty heavy with this new motor, the 540 size motor on it. I mean, compared to those old small Valenion systems that are really tiny motors, this one's, you know, definitely a really good upgrade. You have a lot more control. I have the Castle Link system so I can, you know, program traction control and, you know, launch timings and all that on it. How much, you know, you know cut off for the lipos. Right now, I'm actually running the 2S lipos from Traxxas. You know, they're 30 bucks. I mean, a little pricey is what you can find out there. But they're, uh, the, you know, two cell lipos. I need to get my three cell lipo from them back. It's in the mail. The first one blew up. It uh, shorted out with the ECU. I'm running uh, tires off one of my old buggies. They're uh, the Speed Hawks from uh, or Speed Hogs from uh, Proline. They're uh, you know basic tires. A little bit better on the road than the stock E Revo tires. They're a little bigger, so they have a wider stance and not be flipping it up as much. I have the uh, Traxxas wheelie bar in the back here. It uh, you know it's not that good of a wheelie bar because the way they have these mounting systems, you know if you're using it a lot which this one has a lot of torque so I may am there uh, it snaps off a lot but I mean for a basic wheelie bar it's fine the uh, you can see here where I have the dual servos the dual servo kits I mean the only thing I don't like is you buy the little kit to get the second servo running but it doesn't come with the actual servo screw so I gotta find one of those somewhere next time I'm at the hobby shop I'll pick one up if, uh, if you take and switch over from a rally car to the Revo one thing you need to buy that I, I missed the first time around was the front skid plate is actually different between the uh, Rally and the Revo. So you need to pick up the skid plate. I luckily noticed it before all my parts came in, so I ordered it, you know. It got here the same time the other parts did. Um, I ended up doing a Traxxas connector on my uh, SV2 instead of a Dean's connector because all my batteries already had Traxxas and my charger had Traxxas. So why not just use the uh, Traxxas connector for now? I mean, until I start running into problems with it not having enough current flow, for now it's fine. Um, other than that, I have the RPM K 
carriers for the front and back. They're definitely one of the best upgrades for these. It takes out a lot of the slack. These ones have almost, almost no slack with the wheels. It's one thing I noticed about these is uh, the stock ones, they wear out really fast. I mean, the balls are really loose to hold the A-arms together to the wheels. And you're having a lot of uh, you know slack taken up. These ones have a lot more adjustability. They're a lot more stiff, so they're not going to be uh, you know flopping around on you. Definitely one of the best upgrades. Eventually, when my hobby shop gets them in stock for me, I'm going to do the RPM arms front and back. They're uh, one of the best things. I mean, they're a lot more sturdy. They're still plastic, so they're really cheap to buy. And I mean. They're a lot nicer. These ones are fine for now, I guess. I'm using the plastic links for now until I can do the uh, metal ones. For now, until I break them, I'm, kind of, I'm one of the bashers that uh, you break something, upgrade it. If it's working for you, don't fix it. I'm, one of the, I'm waiting to hear back from Castle to see if I can shorten the wires on the four pole motors because I'm using the uh, 1406 compared to the old CM36 motors. I want to see if you can actually shorten these wires. From what I've read, you're not supposed to. Because after a couple inches, they use a special kind of wiring. You're not supposed to shorten them. I don't know. I'm waiting to hear back from them. If not, I'll end up shortening the uh, ECU side if I can. Either way, I have them just zip tied right now to the servo wires, so they're out of the way of the motor. They're not going to be contacting anything, you know. The switch. Eventually, I'll be running that inside the receiver box, but for now. I have it velcroed to the top until I can take and uh, get everything permanently tied down. I want to hear back from the wire before I do anything else. Make sure I'm not going to have any issues with it. The uh, Overall, the car is pretty quick. I had a GPS on the uh, old rally car before when I had the VXL system. And it hit about 51 miles an hour. This one, hopefully I can see into the 60s once I get the... Uh, 3S LiPo's back from Traxxas. I'll take and make a uh, speed run video of that to show you guys with the uh, GPS to show you. I mean, hopefully I hit the 60s. I mean, it'd be nice. If not, it's really fast as it is now. I had to turn the traction control on until I get some glue for the tires. I ran out of the uh, glue after doing the back ones. So right now my tires, all I mean, the front ones are just bulging up like no one's business and uh, they're really hard to keep on the ground until I get some glue for these. But uh, other than that, if you have any questions, you know, leave a comment on the video or send me a message. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, if you have any problems converting from the rally over to this or from this to the rally to the slash, any of those, I'm pretty knowledgeable about all that stuff because I've done almost every conversion you can think of on this thing. If you have any questions on part numbers or all that, let me know. I can help you out with it. Other than that, you know, subscribe to my videos. I'll have a lot more reviews. I have the, uh, I just bought one of the new Animus cars from Helion and Hobby Town there. So I'll be doing a review on that shortly. I have a couple of the Tamiya cars and uh, you know, a couple of helicopter reviews. Other than that, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, have a good day.